Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are going to be unboxing a 9200. This platform is replacing the 2900 series platform from Cisco, and this is a Tech Talk. We're back, and I'm here with Trevor Butler, network engineer extraordinaire. Hey, thanks for being here today with us. Yep, thanks for having me. So we are unboxing the 9200. Mm -hmm. um, what do we got here? So this is the latest in the 9K family from Cisco. Uh, it's the 9200, which replaces the 2960. Well, we should just tear into this thing and unbox it. All right, let's do it. So we have the 9200 unboxed. Take us through the platform, Trevor. So this particular model is the uh, 9200L. Uh, they make two models. It's the 9200 and the 9200L. Uh, the difference is the 9200Ls are non-modular, okay. meaning that they're fixed ports on the front for the okay. uplinks okay. Um, versus an actual module that comes in and out. The L and non-L are stack capable of up to eight switches. Um, and the back planes do differ between the 280 for the L and 160 for the uh, uh, for the non L. So on the 9200, we've got modular power supplies here, though. This and this is the L version, so this is the non modular. But at least in both platforms, you get what the modular power supplies. That's correct. Yeah. So we have two power supplies, uh, regardless of the L versus non L. Okay. Um, but one other thing to put a note is that on the non-L, they have uh, removable fans, okay. whereas the L has fixed fans. And, okay, and obviously this is the L, so the fans are fixed. Right. Okay, cool, so let's spin this baby back around. And, and yeah. so when we talk about features on this platform, mm -hmm. what are some of the features that, I guess, make it stand apart from maybe the 2960 or the 2900 series platform? Right, so the ASICs that are actually in here are the same ASICs as the rest of the 9K platforms, so okay. the 93s, 94s, and 95s. Okay. Uh, they are programmable. Uh, which means that if Cisco in the future needs to reprogram it because to add a new feature, uh, you can. Uh, you don't have to just scrap the switch and buy another one. You can just push a firmware update and you've got the new feature. Um, additionally, these for the first time compared to the 2960s uh, can do TrustSec. Okay. So they can do the uh, Mac security and uh, do end-to-end -end encryption. So one of the things we've talked about is the difference between the 9200 platform mm -hmm. and the 9300 platform. Are there some major differences or things that, you, that are noteworthy there? Yeah, I think there's two big uh, things. The 9300s uh, actually have stack power, okay. um, whereas the 92s don't. Uh, so while you can stack the, the 92s, you won't be able to get the same stack power redundancy that you get on the 93s. And the other difference would be just the size. Oh, okay. Yeah. We've got a 9300 in the lab. Should we go unrack it just to get a size comparison? Because, you know, how much yeah. of a difference is it? That's a pretty big difference. Let's yeah, go! Let's do it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to hold this thing. Yeah. So we've got our 9300 platform here, and we've got mm -hmm. our 9200 platform. So it's it's a difference. It's a big difference. And when you see the the, the power supplies sticking out here, and, and it's probably because these are the bigger power supplies, yeah, right? Yeah. Those are the thousand watt power supplies. Okay. So I actually ran into an issue with one of my deployments uh, where we were putting these in the ceiling in a, in a pole mounted box, mm -hmm. and the old boxes, because the switches that we were replacing were about the size of the of the new 9200s. Um, and we actually had to have their customer replace the box because these physically just wouldn't fit. Okay, so so when you're going into some of the maybe smaller IDFs or mm -hmm. those, those circumstances where maybe they had a 2900 series switch and you're putting it in the rack, uh, this is definitely something to consider when selecting a platform if, if, if you're limited on rack space. The nice thing is because these have, they're both running iOS XE, they're both running the same ASICs, uh, they're basically very similar features. Mm -hmm. uh, these are capable of layer three as well. So you're not losing a whole lot of functionality between the 92s and 93s, especially when you're doing it on the access layer. Okay, perfect. When we're talking about an access layer switch, um, you know, in, in certain environments, this is the, the platform of choice. Yeah. Okay, awesome. One thing I was thinking about is we've got some old, uh, 20, older 2960s. I think, you know, we got we should bring a side by side for the 9200. I mean, this is a big, this is a big deal transitioning mm -hmm. from the old platform to the new. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the, well, the 2960 has been around for as long as I've been doing networking. Yeah. So let's let's grab a 2900 and uh, and we'll put them next to each other. Okay. 
All right, so we've got the 2960X series mm -hmm. next to our 9200, so pretty much the same size. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but nothing you would notice. All right, so we covered a lot. We covered the 9300, the 9200. We covered the difference in size. We talked a little bit about the legacy here, the tried and true 2900 series platform. I mean, I can't tell you how many of these things I've pulled out of IDFs mm -hmm. and just caked with dust. Oh yeah. Things still sure. running. Yeah, it's a tank. It's awesome. Yeah, and I, you know, when I think about this new platform, it's huge. I mean, this is a this is a big deal mm -hmm. replacing the switch. So I mean, you know, as I'm thinking about it, maybe we could do this thing a little bit bigger, like you know. Maybe get some smoke, what are you like like get some smoke. Maybe a drone. We could do like a flyover thing, and then like maybe have somebody like do some dance moves or. Sean, Sean, Sean. What, 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 what? what? You, you were days in there. Well, I mean, uh, just thinking about doing a little bigger, you know? Well, it's a tech top. It's a little too much. All right, you're probably right. Thanks for being here. Yeah, hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. All right, so, uh, hey, thanks for watching. If we said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Tech Talk. Thanks for watching. <laughs>